bring in Wyoming Republican John Barrasso, member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, good morning to you. Thanks for having me. Do you agree with the president? I agree with the president on both fronts. Number one is that they're not paying as much as they should. We shouldn't be paying more in the United States to defend Europe than they're willing to spend in their own defense. The other thing the president is going to mention is the fact that Europe is becoming more and more dependent on Russia for their energy source, and specifically Germany, with their invitation for the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. I have been fighting it all the way through, including leading a bipartisan group of U.S. senators to Secretary of State saying, look, this is wrong. Use every tool that you have to prevent Germany from becoming more and more dependent on Russia for energy. And there's that, that this pipeline project that certainly came up. And I want to jump to this, this sound, this exchange, Trump on Germany, uh, where the president is asserting that Germany is now totally controlled by and captive to Russia. Senator, watch this. Germany is a captive of Russia because they supply. They got rid of their coal plants. They got rid of their nuclear. They're getting so much of the oil and gas from Russia. I think it's something that NATO has to look at. I think it's very inappropriate. You and I agree that it's inappropriate. I don't know what you can do about it now, but it certainly doesn't seem to make sense that uh, they pay billions of dollars to Russia, and now we have to defend them against Russia. Really sitting at that breakfast and blasting our NATO allies, do you, do you agree with the president's approach here, Senator? Well, the, the president is unique and unconventional in his approach, but he is absolutely right in what he is saying. You know, Germany decided to get rid of all its nuclear power plants and as a result became more dependent on Russia for energy. And energy is called the master resource for a reason. It powers economies, it powers countries, it is a force multiplier. It is an instrument of power. And when Germany is more dependent on Russia for energy, that gives Russia that much more power over Germany and over the European Union as well. It's been quite a morning afternoon there, obviously, where uh, the Secretary General at that same breakfast this morning of NATO, uh, Stoltenberg, had this testy exchange with the President. Want to watch this and get your response here. I think that two world wars and the Cold War thought was that uh, we are stronger together than apart. Um, but how can you be together when a country is getting its energy from the person you want protection against or from the group that you want protection against? Because you understand that uh, when we stand together also when uh, dealing with Russia, we are stronger. I think what we have seen is that... No, you're just making Russia richer. Well, you're not dealing with Russia, you're making Russia richer. And to repeat the president's question there, but how can you be together when a country is getting its energy from the person you want protection against or from the group you want protection against? And it seems like it's more than half of German energy is coming from Russia. NATO was established for the right reasons in 1949 as a deterrence against then the Soviet Union, but the same applies today with Russia. And Vladimir Putin is cunning, he's aggressive, he's opportunistic, he will use everything he can to gain an advantage. And when he has an opportunity to use energy as a geopolitical weapon to gain an advantage, he will do so. That's why I believe President Trump is absolutely right to bring the fight as he is. The risk, of course, is that the president's strategy does not work and that these nations do not respond to his demands. What happens then? Well, I think it's a detriment to the European Union and specifically to Germany to be that dependent on Russia for its energy sources. So Germany may say, well, in the short run, there are some advantages in terms of the finances of the cost of the energy. But in the long run, the dependence on Russia can only lead, in my opinion, to disaster. And, and quickly, before we let you go, Senator, we haven't had you on since uh, the president named his pick for the Supreme Court, Judge Kavanaugh. Do you, do you support the president's nominee? Well, I think the president made an excellent choice. The president invited me to the White House uh, the other Monday night when he unveiled uh, the name to the nation. I think just Judge Kavanaugh is uh, truly a stellar credentials, uh, mainstream, highest uh, quality. He's uh, the experience on the court. He's already been confirmed to the United States by the United States Senate to the U.S. Circuit Court. I think he is the right judicial temperament, the right intellect, and certainly the highest character. So I'm looking forward to the hearings and to meeting with him and then to a vote to confirm him and get him on the court before the court reconvenes in October. Senator Barrasso, great to have you on the program this morning. Come back. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Sandra.